All right, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the build of our teardrop trailer. So today what we're going to try to accomplish is to get the, uh, the top of our storage compartment in place, get the lids in place, and then we can begin the bulkhead for the back and the countertop for the rear of our trailer here. Uh, but before we do that, I need to make a correction on one of the measurements I told you to cut. So according to our drawing, this very first piece that uh, I gave you a dimension of 19 inches and a, 19 and a quarter inches uh, was incorrect. I was measuring from the top of the half inch plywood that goes on top to the back of our wall. So I was off by about an eighth of an inch. And this is the drawing that I used and showed me 19 and a quarter inches. I have since made the correction and it should be 19 and 1 8 inch. So what does that mean for me? For me that means my bulkhead here in the back will be set back 1 8 more, 1 8 inch more than where it should have been. But luckily I've corrected the drawings before any of them were sent out. So with that, this first piece of wood that you cut should be 19 and 1 8 inch, not 19 and a quarter. All right, so that's out of the way. Uh, luckily, nobody has uh, got the drawings and started cutting anything, so you're safe. Unfortunately for me, I'm offset back by an uh, eighth of an inch just on the uh, rear wall here, which means I lose an eighth of an inch uh, living quarters. No big deal. We can, we can live with that. So it's all corrected. All right, with that out of the way, Let's continue our build. So, uh, I'll show you what I've done and what I need you to do next and how we're going to proceed and then we'll get that bulkhead in place. Alright, hang in there. Now that we have our storage unit built, so this is going to be the storage for the rear trailer, and we have the lid made and we've got our cutouts with all the aluminum trim on it uh, to support our lids. Next is to cut the lids. So. Let me uh, show you what I've done and what we still have to do to the lids. I've already varnished the inside of uh, the storage area here. And for that, I used uh, a, Hel a Helmsman uh, spar urethane. It's a satin. It's supposed to be a clear satin, but it does have a little bit of a gloss to it. And uh, I would like to have a matte finish, but that will work for me. So the inside of our storage area is sealed. It has two good coats on it. Next is the uh, the lids that we're going to cut and drill for our little finger pull. Then we can mount the uh, top on and then we can get the bulkhead made. So for our storage lids, the uh, drawings have the dimensions all ready for you. So all you have to do is uh, set up your table saw, rip the uh, plywood to the width and length, and then we just drill our hole for our finger pull and we're just about done. Put a slight radius on each of the corners and we're good to go. So uh, the grain is going to run the length of the uh, wood. So the first dimension that you're going to set your table saw up is the 1 7 16 inch and that'll be the width of our lids. Then it's just a matter of cutting the length and uh, just rounding a corner and we're good to go. So those are pretty simple cuts. Like I said, you set up your width. The grain is going to run the length of the wood. So I've already cut two pieces for my lids and uh, they're the width that we need, 12 and 7 16 inches for both. And then, then you cut for the width. So the next step is we're going to go ahead and drill for our finger pull and then we can be able to set these in place. So according to our drawing, from this edge to the center of our hole is 9 and 15 sixteenths. So all we are going to do, set a tape measure here somewhere close to the bottom. Measure over 9 and 15 sixteenths. Make a mark. I have a T-square set up, that uh, little combination square, and that marks the top of my center line.
and that gives me the center of my hole. Now it doesn't have to be exact, you could put it wherever you would like, but I'm going to follow my drawings. That's where I'm going to place my hole. I'm using a uh, one inch diameter Forstner bit. We're just going to go ahead and tap through both sides and then we're going to take a, uh, a router with a round over bit and just give that sort of a little shape to it so when you put your finger in there uh, you're not grabbing on the edge of a wood and maybe get some splinters. So let's get that cut out. I changed my mind. I'm going to use a spade bit. Now we'll just take a quick route around and uh, be done with this one. We have a nice hole. All right, with our doors cut, now we're ready to install our uh, top of our storage area. So I'm going to spread a little bit of glue around here, and I'm going to just tack a few staples in just to hold everything in place, and uh, then we can fit our lids, and then I think we're ready for the bulkhead. So let's do it. All right, now that we got our glue spread, let's set our lid on. Hopefully we don't make a mess, get everything in place, and we'll tack it down. for a few staples. Now we just got to throw a couple of staples down the center. So the top of our storage cabinet is in. Now we can fit our uh, lids on and uh, hopefully they, they fit and look right. Alright, so there is our uh, storage cabinets and uh, we got a little contrast going on with our plywood here. I don't know if I might want to remake this one or not. It just seems a little darker than the uh, rest of the wood, but I don't know. Once we get some varnish over it, it may look okay. But there's our finger pulls. We pull out the lid, tuck it back into place, and boom. That part is done. Now onto the bulkhead. So according to my drawing, we're about ready to uh, cut the piece for the rear bulkhead wall. And it looks like one foot seven inches. So we need 19 inches and uh, I've got my plywood set up on the table so uh, we'll get it marked and cut. Alright so we've got bulkhead cut. It's set in place right now just kind of temporary and uh, well let's take a look at it from the other side. So this is the back wall cooler sits up against here. We'll have some cabinetry here and our countertop will be sprung out that way. Now, let me just say this. It's pretty hard to find some good lumber. This one here has a little bit of a bow so you see that massive crater down at that end 
and then it's nice and tight here. And if I tap this end in, well then I got a massive crater over here, so the thing's bowed. So, to overcome that, I will uh, remove the lids, we'll temporarily fasten it at the bottom, then we'll take our square and make sure that we are square with our base, and then we will mark it and pre-drill holes for the outside, and then we will uh, do the same for both sides, get that marked, then uh, we'll take the screws out of the bottom, then we will pre-drill our holes, and then we'll fasten everything back together, and then run screws from the outside in, line everything up, and then our bulkhead should be uh, should be somewhat straight. Maybe the top edge might have a little curve, but uh, we'll see once we get that installed. Anyway, here's the bulkhead. That's what we're looking for. Cooler's going to set here, and then we've got some stuff that we're going to put over here. Top secret stuff. We'll have to wait and see what we do. So, uh, got a good start. So next is to go ahead and get this all fastened down here at the bottom, draw that in, get our lines marked, take that off, then we can go ahead and pre-drill our holes, fasten everything back together, fasten that in place, and then we can call that good. All right, and then of course, then we can get the counter up there. So, onward ho! All right, so to attach the uh, rear bulkhead, I've got a couple of screws temporarily fastening this on. And then we want to make sure and take a square and make sure that our bulkhead is square with our platform here in the back. Scribe a line up here on the side, on both sides. And then we're going to remove the bulkhead. We're going to pre-drill through the side walls here with some screws. Put the bulkhead back in place, glue the bottom, and then we'll uh, fasten from the outside and that will secure the bulkhead in place and then we can get the countertop on. Once you get your line scribed, go ahead and remove your screws, back out the bulkhead and then uh, this is the line. Scribes where my bulkhead is square with the platform. Measure over 3 8 of an inch all the way up and down, make a line. That is where our uh, center lines for our screws are going to be then this would be the top of the bulkhead here. I measure down one inch and then two inch spacings thereafter. So we're going to put a handful of screws on each side. That'll keep that bulkhead from moving. It'll be glued at the bottom and uh, we'll have a good secure bulkhead. Okay, same thing on this side. Found my line where it's square. Measured over three eighths of an inch. One inch from the top of the bulkhead. Make a mark and then two inches afterwards. Now we're going to pre-drill these holes and, uh, and then we can set the bulkhead back in place, get it glued at the bottom, screwed down on the bottom, and then we can line it up on our, on our marks here to make sure it's square and then fasten from the outside. And our bulkhead is installed! Woohoo! Alright, now that you have all of your holes pre-drilled, We've got holes on both sides here from the outside. We're going to fasten. And uh, now we're getting ready to spread some glue along the bottom here. We'll push it in place and uh, attach some screws. And then we'll get it all buttoned up. And then we can say that we're done with the bulkhead. So let's get some glue on there and we'll run a few screws. Hey, we're moving right along. Alright, so the bulkhead is in. So, I attached with screws here on the outside. That will be covered with our quarter inch and file on. So anything that we do on the outside here is covered. Uh, for the inside, I used uh, some screws here. These are the low profile head. So it's almost like they have a washer on them. I like that. It gives a good bite. Looks nice. So, happy with those. 
two, four, six, and two, four, and six, and uh, spaced about the right height off the floor. So anybody looks in there, looks at it, it looks okay. Doesn't look out of place. All right. Next, you want to make sure that uh, everything is square to your base, which we have a nice square wall and square to the world here both sides just like so so we have a nice square base now we're ready for our countertop to go on that and uh, so we'll get that piece cut we'll take a look at the drawing all right so according to our plans our length of wood here is two foot nine and five eighths inches so 33 and five eighths inches and we know that the inside dimension is 46 and a half. So 33 and 5 eighths by 46 and a half. We need to get that cut and then we can set that in place. All right, so we have our counter cut. So uh, pretty simple cut, just follow the uh, dimensions on our drawing. 33 and 5 eighths by 46 and a half. Sets right in there nice and pretty. Let's take a shot of the back. All right, so right now it's just sitting in there balanced on the uh, bulkhead here. So next, I'm going to cut me a couple of sticks, 15 inches tall, just kind of set up against the wall, maybe clamp it. That way the, uh, I know the height of my countertop is going to be equal on both sides. So we'll put a couple of sticks here, 15 inches. And then uh, on the inside, I'll probably put a couple of sticks, the height of our uh, bulkhead here. And that way I can clamp everything down mark our line, pre-drill our holes, and uh, get that fastened. And down the center here, I think I'm going to use brass screws because that's going to be inside of the cabinetry. And uh, it'll look a little bit better, cleaner, I think. So, there we go. So you should have your bulkhead in place. You should have your countertop cut and setting there. And then uh, once we get our sticks in here, get the right height, then we'll push it back to the proper dimension here, what it should be lengthwise. All right, so I have some temporary supports just taped to the wall, and that will help me get the right height. And I can mark my edges and uh, center line for where I need to pre drill my holes through the side. So I've done that on the uh, front side. as well as the back side. Cool. Then you measure out your distance from the back wall to the edge here. Make your mark and make sure everything gets lined up. And uh, that way you have the proper measurements distance from here. And be set. So there's still one more little divider wall that I have to put in here before I attach this. And so I'm going to go ahead and get that set up so I know where it is. I'm going to put the cooler in here and then uh, figure out exactly where I want that wall. And uh, we'll get that cut and installed. All right. I think we got a lot done. We got the top installed, put our lids in. We've got the bulkhead and we've got a countertop going. And uh, I'm not going to fasten this down just yet. I'm going to sit down at the drawing board tonight and uh, think about what I want to do here on the back end before I uh, start back up on it. So we're going to call this video a wrap. Hopefully you've got your things as far along as this point. Any questions, just leave it in the comments and I'll uh, do my best to answer your questions. Shoot me an email if you need to. And uh, yeah, so that's, uh, that's where we're at. I do have a cooler that I want to put here. I do have another bulkhead wall that I need to put here, but I need to I need to think about how I want to design that because I've got an idea of a slide out drawer over here and uh, for the cooler I want to be able to slide that out also. So I'll probably be using some drawer guides and uh, install that. So let me think about that and then next time we'll get started back up on it. We'll get things fastened back down into place, and we'll be ready to go. So we're making some progress on our trailer, 
and uh, I've already got the frame work uh, in process so I'm having it welded up and before uh, about another week, two weeks it'll be here, we'll get it painted get the axle on it, the wheels and then we'll be able to lift this up set it on the frame get it bolted down and we're just about there so, got a lot done there's still a lot more to do so I hope you stick around and uh, thank you for watching if you haven't already uh, hit the like button and uh, subscribe that will mean a lot and uh, also hit the bell notification for up and coming videos you don't want to miss those so in this series start to finish step by step building a teardrop trailer and uh, the plans are free what, uh, what more do you want so anyway thank you once again and as always stay tuned